Let's kiss for some form. So, um, as you can tell by the title and thumbnails of it, I have a problem. <laughs> seven foot rod but you can see the tip here um yeah my rod broke guys two guys came off it that's a pretty big deal now if you did not know this is the Bass Pro Shops brand Krabby Max quick tip um when you pay over 50 bucks for a rod you really shouldn't expect it to break I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't think the Bass Pro Shops brand rods are that great i think you should get like a luge or a shimano or a favorite or dugan rod or even Abu garcia but i don't think the bass pro shops rods are very good to be honest with you uh this just broke um i have a spinning rod over here that i could use but i don't like it because it's a short handle and um it's six foot which i like my rods to be seven foot and longer or longer if I can get them. I like, I would like all my rods to be like a minimum of 7, 2 to 7, 3. But they're all, most of them are, seven, or all of them are pretty much 7 foot except for this spinning rod. I don't, I like the bend of the spinning rod. It's a really nice bendy spinning rod. But, um, it's a 6 foot medium action rod. Now, the, now, it does have better line rating. It's rated for max 12 pound line, which is what I have on it. 12 pound fluorocarbon. That's the reel that came with that one. But I know you're thinking, Outdoor Jack, why are you making this video? Um, you already have you have a different rod. Why would you get mad about that? Well, I don't really like this rod, guys. It's 20 bucks at Walmart. I think you can only get it at Walmart, actually. It is not the best spinning rod at all. It's kind of crappy. I don't like it that much. It's definitely lighter, which I like about that. But, um... Just not my, not my designated spinning rod. This is not what I want to use all the time. It's too short for me. Um, obviously you guys don't have to send me anything. It's totally fine. I just wanted to make this video to get a little bit of support from you guys. And, you know, just whenever I, something sad happens in my life, I can just make a video about it. And you guys will support me. And that's really nice to know. Um, but, see you in the next one. This is a rather short video. But, um, yeah, my rod broke and I'm really sad about it. Not... Well, I'm kind of sure what I'm going to do. I don't really know what I'm going to do completely. I'll have to figure it out, but... Alright, now before you guys go, just one more part of the video. Um, I know what you're thinking. Outdoor Jack, you're a bait caster guy anyway. Why would you even need a spinning rod anyway? Why would you even need a spinning rod at all? Well, to be honest with you guys, bait casters are amazing tools. In fact, I throw like 85% of the lures out in the fishing industry on them. But, spinning rods are also important tools. You need a spinning rod for finesse application, baits that are just too light to be thrown on a bait casting, such as hair jigs, uh, tiny crappie jigs, um, that you need that to throw a drop shot, net rig, all the f tiny finesse applications, small swim baits, stuff like that, a spinning rod excels in that area. Again, 85% of lures out there I'm going to throw on a bait caster, but I definitely need a spinning rod for some things. So it's not like I don't use a spinning rod at all. I use them quite often, actually. Um, some not, some people even like to use spinning rods for jerk baits or crank baits. I like using bait casting because I have better control over the lure in that area. But spinning rods are amazing, amazing, amazing tools, and definitely not um, something that I don't want to have. So just putting that out there. I'm not just a bait caster guy. I also love spinning gear. But again, I know you guys are gonna hate me in the comments for this, but I think I, it really, it's one of my, my biggest probably p fishing pet peeve is when people think they could do everything in the world, fish any lure with a spinning rod. Now, I'm just going to tell you right now, people are going to get offended by this. Spinning rods cannot do everything a bait caster can do. They can't throw big glide baits or big swim baits. They can't throw, um, I guess they could throw jigs, but they really can't throw jigs. They really can't throw heavy duty Texas rigs, they can't flip and punch into heavy cover. They certainly can't do frog fishing. Um, if I will, I might even do a, if you guys want me to, if this bit, 
let's say this. If this video gets to 40 likes, or let's just, let's go 25 likes, I'll do a frog fishing challenge with a spinning rod. That's going to be a very difficult challenge. I, I'll release a video pretty soon this summer, or even this spring, on why you should not be using a spinning rod on a topwater frog, and why that's the biggest mistake you can make as a bass angler. But that's pretty much it for the video. Just saying, um... I hate when people think they can do everything with a spinning rod. It really annoys me. You gotta watch TRF. I'll link his channel below. He tells you, like, what a spinning rod is good for. They're great for a lot of things, but a bait caster can do a lot of things. They just can't. See you later.